Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection September 24, 2021 Friday The Friday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. Haggai chapter 2 verse 1 to 9. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Sheltiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people, who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory. And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. And take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak. And take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, One moment yet, a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 43 verse 1, 2, 3 and 4 Let our response be, Hope in God. I will praise Him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against a faithless people. From the deceitful and impious man rescue me. Response. Hope in God. I will praise Him, my Savior and my God. For you, O God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning, with the enemy oppressing me? Response. Hope in God. I will praise Him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Response. Hope in God. I will praise Him, my Savior and my God. Then will I go into the altar of God the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp. O God, my God. Response. Hope in God. I will praise Him, my Savior and my God. Alleluia. Mark chapter 10 verse 45. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 9 verse 18 to 22. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude, and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, Others, Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. 
he rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel The Gospel today follows the same theme as that of yesterday, the opinion of the people on Jesus. Yesterday, beginning with Herod. Today it is Jesus who asks what do people think? And the apostles respond giving the same opinion which was given yesterday. Immediately follows the first announcement of the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus. The Question of Jesus After His Prayer One day, while Jesus was praying alone, his disciples came to him and he put this question to them. Who do the crowds say I am? In Luke's Gospel, on several important and decisive occasions, Jesus is presented in prayer, and his baptism when he assumes his mission. In the forty days in the desert, when he overcame the temptations presented by the devil, the night before choosing the twelve apostles, in the Transfiguration, when with Moses and Elijah, he spoke about his passion in Jerusalem, in the garden when he suffers his agony, on the cross, when he asks pardon for the soldiers and when he commits his spirit to God. The people's opinion of Jesus. They answered, for some, John the Baptist, others Elijah, but others think that you are one of the ancient prophets who has risen from the dead. Like Herod, many thought that John the Baptist had risen in Jesus. It was a common belief that the prophet Elijah had to return. All nourished the hope of the coming of the prophet promised by Moses. This was an insufficient response. Jesus' question to the disciples. After having heard the opinion of others, Jesus asks, And you, who do you say I am? Peter answers, The Messiah of God. Peter recognizes that Jesus is the one whom the people are waiting for and that he comes to fulfill the promise. Luke omits the reaction of Peter, who tries to dissuade Jesus to follow the way of the cross and omits also the harsh criticism of Jesus to Peter. The prohibition to reveal that Jesus is the Messiah of God. Then Jesus gave them strict orders and charged them not to say this to anyone. It was forbidden to them to reveal to the people that Jesus is the Messiah of God. Why does Jesus prohibit this? At that time, as we have already seen, everybody was expecting the coming of the Messiah. But, each one in his own way. Some expected a king, others a priest, others a doctor, a warrior, a judge or a prophet. Nobody seemed to expect the Messiah's servant. Announced by Isaiah. Anyone who insists in maintaining Peter's idea, that is, of a glorious Messiah, without the cross, understands nothing and will never be able to assume the attitude of a true disciple. He will continue to be blind, exchanging people for trees. Because without the cross it is impossible to understand who Jesus is and what it means to follow Jesus. Because of this, Jesus insists again on the cross and makes the second announcement of his passion, death and resurrection. The second announcement of the passion. Jesus adds, the Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The full understanding of the following of Jesus is not obtained through theoretical instruction, but through practical commitment, walking together with him along the road of service, from Galilee up to Jerusalem. The road of the following is the road of the gift of self, of abandonment, of service, of availability, of acceptance of conflict, knowing that there will be a resurrection. The cross is not an accident on the way. It forms part of our way. This because, in the organized world starting from egoism, love and service can exist only if they are crucified. 
Anyone who makes of his life a service to others disturbs those who live attached to privileges and suffers. We all believe in Jesus, but there are some who understand him in one way and others in another way. Today, what is the more common Jesus in the way people think? How does propaganda interfere in my way of seeing Jesus? What do I do so as not to allow myself to be drawn into the propaganda? What prevents us today from recognizing and assuming the plan of Jesus? Blessed be our, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my faithful love, my bastion, my citadel, my savior. I shelter behind him.